Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and are ready for 2015. I want to give you a quick update on the successes we had in 2014, and then I'll get into my agenda for 2015. In 2014, we had lots and lots of wonderful successes. We were able to move our agenda forward, and a lot of our priorities are on the right path to success. One bill that I'm particularly proud of is the bill that would seal the records of all nonviolent marijuana offenders in the District of Columbia. It's a remarkable number. Over 20,000 people in the District of Columbia have some sort of arrest record or criminal record that will now be sealed as long as it was a nonviolent offense. This will help these folks get jobs, get a higher education, be able to get housing. It's an extremely important bill and I'm very proud of it. We have other successes from 2014 and we're going to be sending out a newsletter to break out all of them, let you know exactly what we did, but we're very proud of the work we've done here. In 2015, many of you know, I've been appointed as the chair of the Committee on Education. This is extremely exciting for me and something that I've worked hard to achieve. Now's the time when the rubber hits the road and I have to begin to work on the projects and the issues that are important to all of us. I'm going to make sure, through my tenure on this committee and in this council, that every single child has the best opportunity possible to be successful and to be engaged in their education process. This is something that I think I can do from this particular position because I'll be able to look at it from the big picture, make sure all the agencies are engaged in a way that allows every child to have the best opportunity possible to succeed. We're going to be working on a lot of other issues too, and each of those issues are going to be explained on my website as we move forward, so make sure you look at davidgrosso.org. I'm particularly going to be focusing though on continuing my efforts around transparency and engagement. I want every single one of you to know that I care what's happening in your community and in your neighborhood. So send me emails, call me, stop by, follow me on Twitter at CMD Grosso, follow my staff at Team Grosso. This is the time when you can be engaged the most and I'm hoping that you will hold me accountable and my colleagues accountable for the issues that matter to you the most. I also want to make sure that you come down to my office and meet my new staff. It's really important that each one of you know who's working with me on the efforts that are important to you. We have new staff in the committee, Mike Schaefer and Ade. We have new staff in our personal office, Juan and Ashley. Ashley, I'm particularly proud of, is my new scheduler, graduated from Trinity College this year, just like my mom did years ago. So I'm really looking forward to you coming down and meeting us, spending some time with us and working with us. And I look forward to continuing to serve you and your best interest in my mind. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.